Okay, so now you have your reaction forces solved. Um, basically, you defined your uh, free body diagram. Okay. Now what you need to do is, based on that, you can actually solve for your shear diagram. First thing you need to keep in mind, the way I'm going to solve this shear, I'm going to use my uh, uh, the integral format, basically solving the area of this distributed force, finding the shear at any location I want. That's the, the best thing you can do with the, the integral. So, V of X, let me change the color of this. So my V of X equals the integral of WX DX. And this, uh, based on this equation, my W of X is negative 3. And the reason I say it's negative 3, which is kilonewtons per meters, is because my distributed force is acting in the down direction, as you see. So having said that, integral of negative 3 dx plus 6. This 6 comes in because from the point 0, or I should say, or at this location, which is the 0 location, I have a shear of 6 kilonewtons, and that's where the 6 comes in. And in case you want to check, you can... Um, do the basic uh, equation. So now, first you solve for it. So what we have is negative 3x plus 6. So if I said v of 0, 3 of 0 plus 6 gives me 6 kilonewtons, which is correct because this is one of our reaction force. This is a resulting force, it's not a reaction force. So now if I said v of 2, negative 3 times 2 plus 6 will give me 0. And there's your 0 location right here. And one more point, which is all the way to the end, which is at 4. Negative 3 times 4 plus 6 will give me negative 6 kilonewtons. Keep in mind that this shear if you look at it closely, it reminds you of y equals mx plus b. If you do not know what that means, if I were you, I would shut off this video right now. But I'm just kidding. But now you know that this is actually a linear uh, line. And this is why this is this format that you see right here. Okay. So now you solve for the shear diagram. So now we have a shear diagram at 6 and negative 6 and it intersects like so and this location is 2 millimeters. And the equation for that Now to solve for the shear diagram, it's basically a second integral, uh, or a second, uh, I shouldn't say the second derivative, is the second integral. In other words, you make, you do this, you solve for this equation again in an integral format. So, m of x equals the integral of vx dx. Okay, so... Now you solve for that, you have negative 3x plus 6 dx, and you need to know if there is any moment starting from 0. And in this case, we don't have any moment, so this is plus 0. Now you solve for that integral, and you have negative 3x squared over 2 plus 6x and from there you can solve so we'll say m 
equals zero, five x equals zero, we have negative three square over two plus six over zero. This gives us a zero. This is where your resultant force mm -hmm. is correct. Sorry. This is where your maximum force will come in. And let's say that at M2, showing this metal location. And this will automatically gives you, I'm going to have to solve it out, 4, 2, so this is negative 12 divided by 2, that's uh, 6, negative 6, plus 12. So your answer would be 6. Keep in mind, you have to be careful with your units. In this case, our, your unit is kilonewtons per meter. Okay, now we do at x equals 4, negative 3 times, uh, sorry about that, 4 square over 2, 6 times 4, and your answer is 0. So now you have those major points. Now the question is, how would you know it's a it's in the form of a parabola? A quick trick I can teach you is the circle, this magic circle right here. Make sure you learn this by heart when it comes to your final exam in statics. Here, what we have is, I'll explain it. We have positive, decreasing, and we have negative, increasing. Here we have negative decreasing, here we have positive increasing. What this means is, in order for you to find out, this is just for the basics, in order to find out how your moment uh, diagram should look like, you have to take this into consideration based on your shear diagram. In our case, we have a shear diagram that looked like this. So for the top part, we have positive. So this is in the positive coordinate, but it's decreasing. So we know at this section, we should have this is your moment. We should have positive decreasing, which looked like this right here. This is your positive decreasing. Now for the second part, as you look at this, which is it's a negative because keep in mind think of this as x so this is positive and anything below that line is negative so now we have negative but it's increasing in this direction it's increasing you look back at the magic circle and you see negative increasing which is this right here And it would look just like that. So there you go. This is your moment. And this is your shear. Hope this helps out and good luck.